This is a demo video for day two of the Human Body System Stop Motion Animation Project. Make sure you're sitting with your group and you have your storyboard in front of you for this video. Once you review your storyboard from the day before, determine roles for your group members. Who should be photographer, who should be the director, who should be the artist, and if you have more people, you could talk about people who are doing writing or set design. Your photographer will be in charge of the iPad, taking photos in OSnap, and just making sure everything is set perfectly for each shot. Your director is a person who's kind of in charge of the whole project. They'll be overseeing things and making sure that you're doing the scenes in order and following the storyboard. Lastly, the artist is the one who leads the project in terms of designing things and drawing things and creating the effects for the stop motion. If someone in your group has great handwriting, make them the typographer. Or if someone has an idea for a good background, they could be the set designer. Kids can have more than one job, but the top three jobs are photographer, director, and artist. Step is set up a filming station. This iPad in this photo is sitting on top of one of those clay buckets and it creates a straight down photo onto the whiteboard. Next, you should rotate your iPad and your whiteboard around until you don't have any glare spots like the one I'm pointing at here. The next thing you want to do is determine where exactly you're going to be filming through the viewfinder. Here I'm putting my finger up to the edge and I'm trying to measure where my iPad is going to be filming and I'll do all my drawing and all my illustrating in there. Another option is to have your iPad up at an angle so that it is projecting out towards the whiteboard. The whiteboard makes a nice background just because it's nice and clean, but you could do other things as your background. Check for glares again and make sure that nothing else other than what you're drawing is going to appear in the picture field. The photographer should open O Snap animation and do a few practice sequences just to make sure that the photography process is set up and you're ready to start making your actual objects and your illustrations. After your filming station is ready, you can start your stop motion story of interactions between the human body systems following your storyboard. I mentioned that you guys could have the Peppy and Bolo color copies to add to your illustrations, but you can also use some of this modeling clay to make little characters. If you do do this option, keep them super simple. You could spend all day adding details. But there's a lot you can do just with eyes and a mouth and some eyebrows to show expression and to add a little bit of fun to your stop motion animation. Another reason to keep your clay stuff simple is because you'll have to put it back in the bucket at the end of the class. Other classes will have to use it so you don't get to keep it. And then this is a way that you could add a little bit of commentary for your creatures by taking photos in your old snap animation, making sure that what they say is large enough to read and you take photos every few letters so that it can be read by the audience even at a faster speed. We got you guys brand new modeling clay, but we're gonna to wanna to use this for a few years to come. When you open up the packages, throw away the extra plastic, but then when you're done, put all the colors back together and put them in a Ziploc bag, roll the Ziploc bag back up, and then put it back into the bucket, trying to fit all of them back in there. Try to not rub the clay into the surface of the whiteboard because it'll make it a lot harder for the markers to work on it. Lastly, if you have little pieces that are hard to remove without staining, you can just put them in their own bag. Chances are another group may want to use these eyeballs, so I'll put them in here and then tuck them into the bucket. Step six is probably the most important when you're making your video. Remember to take many, many, many photos of what you do. You can always speed them up, but you can't always slow them down. And I'm pretty sure that your version of OSnap does not allow you to add in photos later on. 
This sample illustration I did has 16 photos. They go pretty fast, even if it's slowed way, way, way down. If you take a lot of photos and some of them accidentally have your finger in it or are mess ups, then you can go back and erase those. But you cannot add more photos later on. In the settings, you can find playback and video render and then set the FPS or frames per second. This next one is five frames per second and look at how fast it'll go. Some versions of OSnap animation let you move your photos around and add photos later on. Check each other's iPads before you begin to see if anybody has this version of OSnap animation. If no one in your group has a version where you can move photos later, then you should take many, many photos in order from the beginning. You can always take them out, but you can't add them. You guys will have two days to do this project. I hope you have fun and I hope you are able to share what you know about the human body systems in a creative way. Good luck!